right, so now I'm finally gonna get to a work problem. This is 12.344, and essentially what happens is you got a boat. Oh my god, I don't want you. <laughs> you got a boat, all right? It's a sailboat, and you got some kind of wind blowing on the sailboat, and uh, the wind is blowing in this direction, okay? But your boat is going in this direction, and this angle right here is 60 degrees. And so uh, now uh, it tells you then that the force is equal to uh, 1,000 pounds, okay? And you, this, this boat wants to travel uh, one mile, okay? So essentially, we need to leverage the fact that force is equal to work times distance or work dot distance, which is the way your book presents it, or what am I saying? Work is equal to force times distance. You can tell I am not a physics major. Uh, so work is equal to force dot distance. And uh, yeah, so the, the, the goal of this problem then is to find how much work does the wind perform when I go straight for one mile. So how much work does the wind perform Okay, and well, so work is equal to force dot distance, but we don't have force, right? Or, or we don't have force as a vector, and we don't have distance as a vector, but what do we have? Well, given that we have an angle, this right here should spoil what we should do. Um, we should write then work is equal to the magnitude of force times the magnitude of distance times cosine theta. Okay, so anytime you see an angle, that's what you should automatically think when you have to deal with the dot product. Additionally, um, the force is equal to 1,000 pounds. This is actually the magnitude of the force is equal to 1,000 pounds, right? Force is a vector, um, so if you're tell, told that the force is 1,000 pounds, then that's the magnitude of it. And mile, right, mile isn't a vector. Mile is a distance. Well, essentially is um, one mile is equal to then uh, the, the, the magnitude of the distance, okay? And so this means I have one mile, one, times 1,000, times cosine of 60 degrees, right? And we know how to do this. Um, uh, okay, uh, I think you have, to, you have to do some foot pounds is a proper unit, right, for work. So work needs to be in foot pounds. Ugh. So one mile then is equal to 5280 feet. All right, so that's what we should use instead. So instead of one mile, we gotta use 5280. Um, but the, the idea still stands, right? Um, and so then this is equal to uh, 5280123 times cosine 60 is one half, okay? And so this final answer is going to be two comma six four zero comma one two three uh, foot pounds which is going to be the amount of work done and so that's how you calculate work um, it's force dot distance but you're never going to get that you're going to get some angle in between and then here you go be careful of your units it really shouldn't be a problem but um, I guess foot pounds is the proper unit for work in the English measurement system uh, who cares? <laughs> uh, so, yep. So there we have it. Uh, if you said this was, uh, if you said this was, I guess one five hundred mile pounds. I guess I would have accepted that as well. So, yeah, that's how you do work. And so now we got to move on to twelve four, which is the cross product, uh, which is a lot more interesting than the dot product in my opinion. And so, uh, I'll see you guys next video.